we got a good one. We got a good one. This one is pretty freaking hilarious, I think. I haven't seen the whole thing, but from what I glanced over, I, I was like, we have to talk about this. So this one's coming out of, I guess, New Jersey. Shout out Daniel J. Nothing but ass. Basketball tournament canceled at Newark High School after a wild video of women twerking in thongs outrages board members. <laughs> Just a headline alone, I'm like, what? <laughs> woman elected on this school board a parent a taxpayer i am appalled that that such an appropriate video was associated with that school or any of our schools that's just not acceptable the fact that a video featuring women in very little clothing dancing provocatively was filmed inside the school gym while well, students were i was present. like is this cardi b like, <laughs> it sounds like cardi b i like how it says they got balloons in the back this is like sus, sus. <laughs> very alarming. I was deeply disgusted to find out that anyone could use our facilities, but when the parents go to schools, they're being denied access to our buildings. So I have a concern with that. That's my first concern. Secondly, I also would like to know who actually put in for the permit. I watched all the, all the videos with individuals apologizing, but I'm not accepting their apologies. Not one bit am I accepting any of their apologies. Why? They only apologized because the video was leaked. If the video wasn't leaked, that, that event would have still taken place on July 20th, and there would have been more than basketballs bouncing in that gym. Okay? Board of Education, and she says, tooken. Tooketh. So uh, you know, it is what it is. Unfortunately, though, it does say a lot about the school systems when the school boards don't even have correct grammar. A sexually charged promotional video of women twerking in thongs in a New Jersey high school gym got the board, the school board, hot. They <laughs> got them hot and bothered. Those are shorts. <laughs> With some members calling it appalling and disgusting. All these women on the board are hot and bothered. The men didn't say anything. The men they just were kinda, probably also hot just, clapping, clapping, just differently. They were kind of clapping. They were like, the ladies like, yeah, I watched all the videos. They're like, yeah, like, we, we watched there. them too. Yeah. The raunchy footage filmed to promote a celebrity basketball tournament dubbed Nothing But Ass features women bending over chairs and shaking their thong-clad booties in slow motion as hip-hop blasts at Westside High School in Newark. Why are they promoting a basketball tournament? called nothing but ass mm -hmm. like that, that's kind of it does and a celebrity one it seems like an interesting marketing tool yeah the phrase rough riders <laughs> they said the school's mascot <laughs> the phrase rough riders the school's mascot can be seen printed on the wall in the background. So why is the school's mascot have the words Rough Riders? Because that's they're saying that's the school itself, Rough Riders. Rough Riders. <laughs> a man dressed like a referee then appears on screen proclaiming, we're giving out $10,000 cash to the best team out of four teams. The ad touting in the tournament was produced by Big Fendi, a music manager and party promoter known for discovering rapper Nicki Minaj. Oh, there's the song. <laughs> Never mind, found it. It's actually kind of funny how the little baby, the E-Tray baby is looking at it. Oh, like, like, oh hey. He's like, hey. hey. Uh, but while footage of the stripper style dancing outraged members of the Newark Board of Education who said the film crew shouldn't have been allowed on campus, no buts about it. <laughs> the irony or the pun. Oh, New York Post is pretty funny. I'm appalled that a video of that sort was associated with the school or any of our schools, is what the board member said. Danielle Gonzalez, I was disgusted. Board co-vice president Allison James Frizen fumed. Very descriptive with the text. I wonder did. why they couldn't have just gone to a gym. You know, LA Fitness, a Lifetime, anything with a basketball court. <laughs> Other board members said that they were worried that students may have watched the rump shaking shoe. <laughs> I would like to know who signed in, who opened those doors, and how many minors were on site, according to the board member Crystal Williams. An investigation is underway. 
And school records, along with surveillance cameras, will likely reveal how and by whom the film crew was allowed in. Somebody got their uh, palm grease. <laughs> the uh, just slide right in. <laughs> the event, also known as the NBA Baddies Basketball Tournament, New Jersey, has been scheduled for July 21 at the high school, with tickets ranging from 50 to 500 dollars. So. So they were having the whole thing at the high school, and the Board of Education had no clue that this whole thing was happening at the high school. I thought it was just about a video being shot, but they're saying the whole entire thing is supposed to be at that high school. I guess they just didn't know they were going to have a promotion that looked like a, a, a music video with a bunch of rap guys' girlfriends in it. Or something. Um, but you have to understand that if the, the title of this thing is, the event is NBA Baddies Basketball Tournament. It's probably going to be women in thongs shooting basketball. Like, that's probably what this is. So it's like the women in lingerie who do football, you know, but this is probably what it is. So that's going to be even hey. more of an issue than just the promotional video. It's probably going to put butts in the seats. Or up twerking. But when the promo video popped up on social media, it stunned and angered parents. I opened up Facebook and I thought my eyes were deceiving me. Newark parent Lucius Jones told the board, my wife had to snatch the phone away from me. <laughs> what was he looking at? This? <laughs> the basketball tournament has since been canceled and Big Fendi apologized to the whole city of Newark in an Instagram video. Things went a little left and out Funny. of control. <laughs> a little left. <laughs> Fendi said in the video, I take full responsibility for that. Because you guys had no knowledge of what these girls would be wearing. And he didn't immediately return a call and a text from the post. Isn't it funny that when something goes horribly wrong um, because of a very bad judgment, it's gone left? <laughs> I just find the irony in that. At the school board meeting Tuesday, Superintendent Roger Leon said this was, this was never a district or school event. Appropriate disciplinary action will be taken. Mm. Somebody getting fired. <laughs> I don't know. The little E-Trade baby just cracked Yeah. Up. 